guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about psoriasis vulgaris. It is a chronic disorder. Etiology, uh, there is genetic predisposition and triggering factors include environmental factors such as bacterial infection, uh, like streptococcus, staphylococcus, trauma or even drugs. It occurs in all ages. An early onset suggests a severe and long-lasting disease. It can also be triggered by rubbing, scratching and stress. The clinical features, you have two types. You have an acute guttate type with pink papules with or without scales. Uh, they are lamella and loose and they can be easily removed by scratching. Removal uh, results in small blood droplets which are known as ospitz sign. They are usually scattered on the trunk, may result spontaneously or become recurrent. The chronic stable type is sharply marginated and you have loose white scales. The plaques coalesce to form polycyclic lesions and may regress forming annular, serpiginous and archiform patterns. In extremely chronic forms, the scales might adhere tightly resembling oyster shells. They usually are localized to the elbows, knees, the sacral region, scalp, palms and soles. For diagnoses, you'll have increased antistreptolysin titers and acute gut tay types. If you have a sudden onset of psoriasis uh, associated with HIV infection, then you have to do a HIV serology. The serum uric acids may also be increased. Diagnoses can also be based on clinical grounds. Differential diagnoses can be seborrheic dermatitis, discoid eczema, uh, PTRS rosea as well, lichen planus, secondary syphilis, etc. The acute, as you mentioned earlier, can disappear spontaneously in a few weeks or it can evolve into chronic plaque psoriasis. This may undergo remission after months or years or it can recur and become a lifelong condition. For treatment, the first line therapy is corticosteroids and vitamin D analogs. Second line, you can go for phototherapy and puva. And third line, you can go for TNF antagonists like etanercept. That is it for this video, guys. Take care. Bye.